today i'm gonna show you how to crochet this very beautiful simply elegant top loose which is perfect for whatever seasons you're gonna wear it you can use two yarns or multiple of yarn i'm using only plain yarn i have here two pieces of rectangles the wider you're gonna make it the more loose it's gonna be yeah let's begin and i have here a chain of 20 this is a multiple of two once you have that one measure that from your right to left shoulder make it longer add more chains if you want it a little bit wider the wide it is gonna be the more loose it's going to be your top so once you have that yarn over and then one two three four in the four chain from your hook insert just make one simple double crochet and then chain two skip two chains one two go to the next place one double crochet in each of the next two stitches we're gonna make another chain two skip chain two space one two go to the next place one double crochet in each of the next two stitches one go to the next and two so it's always two double crochet next to each other chain two skip two chains go to the next place one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so we're just keep repeating this pattern like this chain two skip two stitches and then one double crochet in the last two stitches so the pattern is very easy make a multiple of chain multiple of chain by two and one double crochet on the four chain from the hook and my round three is gonna be chain three and then turn and yarn over skip the first stitch and go on the top of the next stitch which is on top of the double crochet and then place one double crochet on top of that and just like this so I also have two double crochet on top of the previous double crochet so chain two and then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches on top of the do previous double crochet so just like this and then chain two repeat go on top of the previous double crochet and place one double crochet and all swell us on next double crochet in the previous round so and we're just gonna repeat that until the last boxes or the last double crochet oh and then I'm gonna make a chain two so skip this chain two space and then go on the next on top of the double crochet in the second last one and on the third chain yarn over and on top of the third chain one two and three here on the very top and place one double crochet and i'm just gonna repeat round three the one we just made until i get the length that i want and keep adding more rows or keep repeating round three until you get the length that you want make two pieces of that chain one to end your rows chain one pull tight and cut the yarn and secure the remaining stitch once you're done so once you have this two piece together align it on top of each other making sure they are nicely aligned and as well as here i'm gonna fold it like this and then like this and i'm gonna pick a point for my neck area like that and then open it and see if that opening is really what you want for your head or for the space if not get closer and closer to make it tighter or get like this wider and wider to make it more open so i think it's perfect like this and then once you have that just make a stitch marker like this that's gonna be my stitch marker here 
just that simple knot cut the yarn once you're done and here as well so as you can see I just estimated it and not did not count to make this a little bit faster and more effective and there you go I actually just have it already and this is the opening that I want it's perfect I would say and I already connect this part here and then this part here and as well as here on the other side so this one is for the arm area you can always adjust this one how open you want or not and as well as here so go ahead do that well I'm gonna make this one to here so to begin i should pick either here either here or either here so i'm just gonna pick this one in any of these boxes with this one make a slip knot and pull i'm gonna make a chain of 14 2 3 and 14 so you have a chain of 14 make a chain of four again one two three four and then yarn over insert your hook in the four chain from the hook one two three four yarn over and pull yarn over pull for two repeat that yarn over insert your hook in, in the same stitch grab that yarn pull grab that yarn pulse for two i'm just gonna repeat that f uh, f five more three more times so three this is one two three four i repeated it four times sorry so once you have one two three four five six seven stitches in total a loop in your hook yarn over I'm just gonna yarn over and pull through all and then chain four one two three four like this too small the other one then yarn over insert your hook here in the four chain from the hook or here in the, on the very top i'm going to take that one yarn over and pull yarn over pull for two yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch grab and pull grab pull for two yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch grab and pull grab pull for two yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch grab and pull grab pull for two yarn over insert grab and pull grab pull for two yarn over insert grab and pull grab pull for two one two three four five six seven yarn over pull through all insert your hook in the stitch here in the very bottom yarn over and pull and pull through that loop in your hook chain 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and insert your hook here in this next double crochet corner space and here this one just along with this line here and in the very corner insert grab make one slip stitch and that's it so like chain 14 again one two i have a chain of 14 and then we're gonna make this one again one two three four yarn over insert your hook in the four chain from the hook make that little ball right there 
exactly how we made it till you have seven loops in your hook in total okay chain four one two three four two things together and then chain 14 after putting them together by making a slip stitch and then once it's done go here in the next corner which is this one here and this one so as you can see i'm always in the same spot like before chain 14 so i'm just gonna make it like that as you can see this is how it look like like this or like this and i am making it or i'm placing them in every after the box here 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 this one just simply all the way around so go ahead with that and i'm gonna meet you once i'm done and this is how it look like it's very beautiful loose top and i really like the style also and the in the arm area and the edges so it depends if you like to place the decorations in the arm area or not but for me it turns out perfect and i really love how it is you can also make different color of this one which is really beautiful also black or an, uh, any other that you loved i think i'm gonna make another color of this one but this color is also just beautiful that's it for this video bye